Hello. So first, let's set up. After you download the script, you will get this file. Extract it. You will get a script file. Copy it. And go to the After Effects. Scripts. Script UIs. And paste it. Just like that. Now how to use it. It's so simple and so light. So let's get started. Let's say you want to create a 3D display out of from these layers. So let's make this quick and fast. All you need is your layers. Front, back, top, bottom, left and right for the main display and for the base of the display. Just click this, the front or the back, and hit Get. You will get exactly the width and length in pixels. Hit Apply, and the data will automatically be here. Now, for the length, we don't need the length to be that much, so select one of the sides, left or right layers, and hit Get. You will get the right width. The width here is the length in the 3D, so it would be 15. And hit Generate. Let's just reset the 3D view, because we do have a camera. Now, for the generated primitive, just rotate it to the Y, and you're good to go. Now, select this, copy, and go to front. Oh, in this layer, or in this cube, or cuboid layer, you'll get six distinct compositions, just like so. So now, let's fill this with the nice materials. Uh, go to that left and hit paste, align it right on the center and you will now have... Oh, let's just reverse that and make it to the right, sorry. Now we have the face and just now um, select the back copy it and go to the left and paste and now we will need this one actually this and this are the same so we'll take just one and go to the front paste it and back and paste it and that left us with the top and bottom. Take one, as the other is the same. Go to the top, just here and here, and we need to rotate it, copy it again, and finally paste it. Now we don't need all of this, the display layers, delete that, and now you do have your display. Easy and so simple and light. Now, let's do a reset, 3D view, and let's, let's create the base. Just like the display, the main display. Select the front, for example, and hit Get, and hit Apply, and select one of these, and hit get so that you can know the length and let's make it 10 generate you will get the same and the same process just go there and to the right paste it and align it correctly copy it again since it's the same 
go to the left and paste it and to the front and back here and oh and here and now for the top and bottom here's the top that you need to rotate 90 degrees and the bottom and just like that delete all these layers because we don't need them anymore now go to your four views so that you can manipulate all the things we need to first rotate this on the Y 90 degrees and on the X 90 degrees and just make it down so it's right here and move it a bit forward and we do need another one of this actually so we will get uh, duplicate this and um, we need to just rotate it move the anchor point just right here and rotate it on the Z so that we can get a nice display let's make it actually right here and move both of these just like that and yeah just a little refinement on this yeah that would be nice Let's make it up. Yep, I believe that would be nice. Now go to first view. And now you have your display. Just like that. Actually, you can make this a bit bigger. So that it looks nicer. So scale it up a bit and move it forward and yeah that actually is much better and that's it and that's it for the cube let's now go to the cylinder for the cylinder you will need three layers face back and edge so just le let's just delete that guide. So just like the cube, if you like, you select it and hit get. Now what you got is the full width. And for the cylinder, you will need a radius. So just half of this will be 270. And let's make the height just like it, just the same. And hit generate. Now you got a cylinder. So just let's just add the materials. Copy this and paste it in the face composition. And just align it. And for the back, we need this. Copy it. And all the way down, you will get the back and paste it and now for the edge since it's just a color uh, just like that um, get that color and go to one just one of the edges and hit and change that color so, now 
you don't need all of this. And you got yourself a nice coin. Oh, we need to flip that. Just go to the back and transform flip horizontal. And just like that, you can make it round. Just like that. Now for the cylinder, you will get three main controls. Segments number, so that if you want it rough, you can reduce that number so you will need you will get a uh, a rough edges and if you're happy with it and there's some gaps you can just fill it in the slider gaps just like so and now you get another shapes and just change the face and back for this particular shape and you will get that shape extruded. Now let's say you want it so smooth that um, let's just uh, control Z to reset this value. Just like that. Let's say you need it a very smooth and if you increase that you will notice that there is no edges layer to fill those these gaps so what you're gonna do is just select the edges all of them and duplicate it and it will automatically fill all the empty gaps just like that you get so smooth cylinder now and lastly the final slider is the radius and it's just a radius. Increase it and all the edges will go with you. Just like that. So easy and so simple.